podcast Embrace here back with another quick cars review now today we're going to be having a look at something quite special it is another awesome Tomica release now I haven't covered a Tomica release in a while just because I haven't actually bought anything new from them in a hot minute but today we have something new this is the new versions if you will of the ice racers line which came out quite a while ago from Mattel it was part of that extended universe line kind of stuff that I'm always hammering on about things that I very much enjoy now this guy is a Jackson Storm and so already he's playing on easy mode because I absolutely love Jackson Storm and so had to get this guy for my collection. They've also done a new McQueen, they've done a Mater and they've done a Cruise, none of which I have really any intention of picking up. I basically just wanted the Jackson Storm because I personally love Jackson Storm. So having a quick look at the box here, it does have Takara Tomy on one side here load of writing in Japanese that I can't read, more writing in Japanese I can't read. On the back we have some more Japanese, but funny enough, I can't read. And we have Mickey. But honestly, I have no idea what any of this stuff says, but we do get to see some awesome looking art of Jackson Storm all over the boxes. And I really like the Japanese car uh, logo. Very cool looking right there. But I think we should get this guy open, crack him open and see what all the fuss is about. Now, these guys do all come in cute little baggies. So, here we have the Ice Racers Jackson Storm. Now, this guy, straight off the bat, is looking incredible. I absolutely love the Tomica aesthetic, and I definitely, definitely love this Jackson Storm right here. I think the contrast of the black going into the blue split by the, the Jackson Storm logo, I think that's awesome. Now he does have his number 20 on the side. It's kind of a running thing. Is Jackson Storm's number 20 or is it 2.0? Because he's meant to be like McQueen 2.0. But I think this kind of puts it to bed that his number is actually 20, as you can see. And he does have the Jackson Storm 20 next to that as well, or the JS 20 and the American flag. He has got these beautiful ice blue decals sort of picking out some of his lines. And yeah, he just looks absolutely stunning. And that igniter liquid accelerant over here looks beautiful. Liquid adrenaline, sorry, looks beautiful in ice blue as well. This guy is awesome. And amazingly, he does carry over the whole Tomica gimmick of having active suspension, which is just awesome in my book. I mean, the fact that Tomica managed to make die-cast cars with actual working suspensions pretty cool and speaking of cool he's got beautiful white rims that do still have the light year text on them albeit absolutely tiny but it is still on there and then on the bottom it just says cars jackson storm i'm assuming that says cars and jackson storm in japanese and then disney pixar as well as your rest of your tomica and main in vietnam also 2017 this guy was copyrighted so quite a while ago now a few quick comparisons here is jackson storm with jackson storms we have my favorite version of jackson storm the piston cup champion nascar jackson storm i think this guy looks awesome and the igniter storm logo on his hood absolutely banging and we have another beautiful jackson storm this one being the rubber tires jackson storm absolutely stunning car itself as well and what would a comparison about the ice racers be without the king of the ice racers himself, Mr. Lightning McQueen. And as you can see, the colors here, absolutely spot on. The Mattel version, they kind of had snow all over the edge to make it look like McQueen had just done the race and his wheels were more of an actual snow covered sort of pattern. Whereas Jackson's here are all white and he has, looks like he's fresh out of the, well, on the starting grid. He doesn't look like he's done a race yet. And a little comparison with McQueen from Tomica again with that beautiful springy 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 now the thing you will notice is that with the Mattel version of the ice racers on the logo which is just here and my pooey little camera is going to do a terrible job of picking it up but on the logo that is on here it is in Russian because the race itself was held in Russia uh, in the sort of series 
Um, obviously, with all that's going on with Russia, I'm sure that Japan and uh, sort of Mattel and Takara Tomy didn't really want that all over their branding anymore. And so they went with just the very simple English writing instead. But guys, I think as always, I've waffled on far too much. So I will leave you all with that one and I will catch you all in the next one. Thanks guys.